So last night, Warhammer TV released a teaser for an upcoming Kill Team product. Titled Kill Team Enter the Pariah Nexus, it teases Assault Intercessors and Necron Flayed Ones in an ultra-close confines environment. Understandably, the community went wild with relieved Kill Team players and Kill Team fans turned frustrated naysayers dropping their opinions. One fellow player exuberantly posted, Kill Team isn't dead. Is it? Isn't it? My opinions revealed after the jump. Kill Team has never kicked the bucket. A game doesn't need huge flamboyant updates to be alive. It just needs to be replayable, fun, and balanced. For most of its aspects, Kill Team is all three. There are just some factions that have been placed on stasis by Games Workshop. We just need balanced passes for those. My cousins and some high school friends played Dangerous Journeys Mythos for well over 6 years, long after TSR sued and forced the cessation of that product line. Kill Team, in contrast, has been infused by sub-faction rules, new tactics and scenarios, and other stuff by LVO organizers. It's awesome that they did this. It's now almost Kill Team version 1.5. And people still play it! Even the YouTube channel Play on Tabletop has launched a new video series revolving around the game. About this teaser, however, I'm suspecting another starter set so they can peddle their new Necrons. If so, we, the local community, actually don't need this. Well, we kind of do, but in terms of priority, we'd rather have balanced passes first. A simple errata or an FAQ put up on Warhammer community and done. Moreover, Given how Games Workshop is so slow in terms of Kill Team development, if, if, they can only do one thing at a time, I don't want them prioritizing the inclusion of 9th ed changes into Kill Team then stop for several months after. I'd rather they prioritize buffing the low tier squads first. This list is quite long, Chaos needing more units for example. Space Marines have jump packs while they don't get Raptors. And the Gene Stealer cults fold easily. I've never seen them have a healthy win loss ratio in the LGSS here. Sisters of Silence could do with a couple more tactics. Harlequins need elites options. The list goes on. But if they can do a balanced pass and add in 9th edition stat changes, that would be great. Also, a book compiling everything without the typos, aspects and intercessors. Grey Knights, Falchions, the Medic Specialism, etc. would be fantastic too. This has been Retroburn and these are my thoughts about the new Kill Team Enter the Pariah Nexus teaser. If you like this new snippet and would like to see more, please like, comment, and or subscribe. Doing all three would be epic. Happy gaming!